All righty. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Epic Fail. Uh, we are so glad that everyone came out tonight. We'll get started in just a minute. A couple of reminders. Uh, please turn off all cell phones. Uh, not only do not want your phone going off during the show, but there are also loyalties and licensing, and so uh, we ask that you don't take pictures or video. We do. We are videoing for the theater department, but that's all. Uh, I want to thank everyone for coming out tonight, so we'll be starting in just a minute. That sounds about right. I'm not exactly waiting for the sharpest knife in the drawer. I'm not even the pointiest sport. When it comes to cutlery, I'm more like a slotted spoon. I understand the big stuff, but it's the details that slip through the cracks. Unfortunately, teachers are pretty big on details. So when it comes time to collect my homework, teachers are pretty good with being accompanied by the F word. You don't have to. I know I am. No one said you were an idiot. True or false? I failed my math test. True. I failed my English test. True. I failed my drama test. True. See? Idiot. Is there something a little at home that you guys talk about? Perhaps we can help you. Home is not my problem. What is your problem? Passing tests. Duh. It's not the fact that you failed your test that concerns me. It's the way that you failed it. Better words. Spectacular. Yeah, I think it's kind of boring to fail with anyway. I'm not just don't make it interesting. So your answer's my purpose? Mm, that depends on which ones you're talking about. Exactly why I've called you here. I've asked some of your teachers to pull some examples, then you can explain for yourself. Shoot. No, don't worry. We're not going to hurt you. No, I meant go ahead. Oh, then go ahead. Confusion is a strange affliction, panic, fear, and contradiction, never sure it's back with fiction, leads me to a drug addiction. What do you have to say to yourself? I thought that was pretty good, wouldn't you? Perhaps, but this is a math. <laughs> so? So I ask the quadratic formula. Which is just as confusing as poetry. Interesting, but not relevant. In fact, you answered every equation with a problem. And on your English test, you answered an equation. For instance, Answer. E equals MC squared. Pretty funny, right? John Stewart is funny. Ellen DeGeneres is funny. Cleaver Top is funny. You are not funny. No. Overwhelmed? No. On drugs? No. But you said so yourself. Lead me to a drug addiction. Oh, that. So you would see while we're concerned. See, it's not what you think. I'm on drugs, all right. Just not the kind of make me happy, the kind of make me normal. You mean for ADD, or OCD, or ODD? Letters, letters, letters. Everywhere I turn, there's more letters. I can't get away from them. 
letter A from the letter B from the letter C. The scarlet letter. I'm glad Shakespeare ever had so many stupid love letters. Peter is. Not really. Well, they usually carrot top is funny, so I guess anything's possible. <laughs> Oh. Cool. 
Not for you, Randy. Stop! What? Turn off the gas! Mom! You're gonna hit that tree! What tree? That tree! Oh my god, are you okay? Do I look like I'm okay? No, I'm looking at the windshield! I know, I'm looking at the windshield! Are you okay? What's the matter with you? I don't know. I have all these thoughts racing through my head to make it impossible to concentrate. Like, should I take risks and experience new things? Go, go, go. Or should I stay good and appreciate what I have? Stop and smell the roses. I have no clue what direction my life is headed. Drive reverse neutral. I mean, it's like I have so many decisions to make every day that it makes my head spin. And if I can't even drive a car right, how am I ever going to get anywhere in life? Being a teenager is way too hard. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to pressure you. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to kill you. Oh, you know. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to hurt you. Maybe we can try this again when you forget where you're going. Sounds good. Although I did learn one thing from all of this. Okay, well, what's that? You should probably fasten your seatbelt next time. Oh, no. There's so 
much to worry about and so little to love. That's awfully pessimistic, even for you. Don't be looking in my face. I'm just a part of you. So am I, and I think the possibilities are limitless. I don't know about that. The last time I asked Ford about me, he said it was boring. Well? Well, what? Are you? Of course she's not boring. I bet she's got a big heart, even bigger ideas. <laughs> Bigger than her butt. <laughs> hey, don't talk about her that way. My oh, gosh, she's nothing special. Oh, heaven, no, she's very special. And she has more ideas than you ever will. Yeah, like what? Like, I believe we're all capable of something great. Yeah, it's so big deal. I want a girl that can burn the alphabet. I can try that and give me a root beer. No, don't listen to him. He's not good enough for you. And you are? At least I don't ask her to ask yes. Either one of them are good enough for you. No one is good enough for you. Stop it, all of you. This is my decision, and I'll be able to make it. Stop staring at me! We're just curious to know if you're going to ask us out or not, right? Huh. No. <laughs> I to do! On one hand, I can end up with a boyfriend. On the other hand, I can end up scarred for life. No worries. Once you make up your mind, you know where to find me. Yeah, same here. Yeah, this fall is well. <laughs> well, what's it gonna be? I need more time. Fair enough, we've been here for you. Really? Yeah, we're not going anywhere. Just let us know when you're ready. It's a day.
Okay. I always think of them, they fail. Just as religions, everything fail. Decisions, decisions. When it comes to decisions, I know what's good for me, but I know what's good. The two really ever collide. When it comes to food, the bowel of the bulge has nothing on my taste buds. Today's Smackdown, or should I say, Snackdown. Help me. Versus. I stay. I can be tasty. I'm full of sugar and caffeine, just what you need to get through the day. You're also full of all calories and carbohydrates. And you're not? My calories are not worth My calories are... My carbohydrates are complex, and my calories are not even ones like yours. I'm not in your car. It's the calcium. It makes me better than everything else in the menu machine. Not to mention I'm skin. Zero fat, zero sugar, zero taste. I'm thirsty, but I don't know what I want. I'll quench your thirst and have you bouncing off the walls. I'll make your bone size strong. I prefer soda, but mom says if I don't drink enough milk, I'll get the whole thousand photo. Forget about the beverages. All of those make you pee. Take it from me, honey. You want chips. Why would she pick you when carrots are just as crunchy, huh? Huh? Stop acting like a baby. I'm not a baby. No teenager caught dead. Baby carrots. If she eats chips, her arteries will clog up and she really will end up dead. But I taste better. You might have crunch, but I have sodium. Which will just make her thirsty, so there. So there. Who's the baby now? Stop bickering. How am I supposed to decide what I want? I only have five minutes between classes. Well, what's it gonna be? Nutrition or flavor? So that's a pretty good spot. That's right, nothing beats A1. But chips are at eye level. Everyone knows D4 is the most popular slot. It can take before everything else. Oh, shut up. And that is not far away. C2 is okay, I guess. I hate to break it to you, Karen, but you got a shaft. Don't remind me, it's only down here, Chef Nam. Let's not talk to you in a bay. Told you, Grandma. Ew! Gross.
to invite our cast out in just a second. So please give them a round of applause as they come out. I also want to 
bring out some other people that I'm very thankful for. I could not have missed out my stage managers, Bailey Holt and Michelle Brock. All right, just a second. They're going to all sit down on the front of the stage. I'm going to let everybody come up and shake hands in just a second. Uh, before we go on, I do want to say a couple big thank yous. I want to thank the Ag Department for here at Tuckerman High School. They built our boxes for our set. I want to thank Ms. Petey Slagley, Heather Hoggard, and Paula Jones for their help with costumes. Uh, Timothy Richmond, Stephen French, Chris Jackson, and Kelly Hudson for helping with our live and single. And I want to say a huge thank you to Ms. Sonia Baldry. I could not have done this without her. So please give them all a round of applause. Alright, thank you for coming to do. Alright, so they're going to come down, they're going to sit on the uh, front of the stage. So please come by, shake their hands, tell them how much you enjoyed the show. We really appreciate everyone coming out tonight. And look for our production for next fall.